Well, it's October 28, 2011, and I watched a video just a little while ago that said that this is the last day on the planet. This is when all of it begins. This is when the uh, apocalypse, the judgment day, all the rest of the stories that we've heard since I was three years old. I don't know when you started hearing these stories, but when I was real little, um, my grandma on my father's side told me that the judgment day was coming and I should be prepared for it. Well, I'm not. And I don't think I ever will be, nor do I want to be. If what Grandma said to me is going to happen to me on the Judgment Day, I don't want it to happen to me. I don't want raptures, and I don't want to go to heaven forever. I don't want to spend the rest of eternity with all the other people that think they're going to go there. Because I don't, most of them that I've met, they're the kind of people that I have to love from a distance. But according to this video, the Mayan calendar uh, was wrong and it speeded up and they said that October 28th, well it's 439 so I may be speaking prematurely I may be talking through my head right now and I may not know what I'm talking about because it may still end today but I'm in Europe, you're in America so you're 6 to 8 hours behind me so relax, it's still not happened over here but a few years ago remember the Y2K thing, the big thing that was supposed to happen while well, all computers were going to fall down and everything like that I was having lunch with uh some prospective clients, which, oddly enough, if you hear the story, didn't turn out to be clients, uh, and they were talking about how they were preparing for the Y2K thing, and they had moved to the desert, and they had fuel stored, and <laughs> there's a funny thing. Uh, what was his name? Um, the singer that fell out of the sky with his experimental airplane because he couldn't switch to the reserve tank was a survivalist and had all kinds of gas stored someplace. Uh, was that guy? No, never mind. Anyway, this these people were... Uh, going on and on how they uh, stored gas and stored food and were ready for the apocalypse and the judgment day and <clears throat> they were out in the desert where they could be self-sufficient for quite some time and we're sitting in a posh restaurant in Pasadena, California I said bring bring it on and I got a little bit loud I said bring the damn thing on right now in fact I want it tomorrow I am so tired of waiting for this apocalypse thing I've been hearing about it since I was three years old and I'm just quite frankly tired of waiting for the thing to happen. Bring it on tomorrow. I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want the judgment here. I'm still, it's 2011. I'm still waiting. Right? Bring it on. Right? The judgment day, everything else. I'm I'm ready. Like I said, I, I am tired of the looming threat hanging over my head. It just really drives me kind of crazy. So, I said to these people, I, I was doing that. I was ranting like I do sometimes. And I was ranting quite like that. And, um, the husband of the pair of people said to me, Oh my God, oh my God, it can't happen tomorrow. And I said, mm, Why is that? He said, uh, We're not prepared yet. We're not ready. And I said, Oh, okay. Well, then I will quit praying for it to happen tomorrow. Uh, the fun thing about these videos, my Skype keeps checking in and out. I forgot to turn it off. And you're going to be thinking you have calls and people coming into your life. <laughs> have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com. If we're still around, I mean, it's, it is 2011, it's supposed to happen. Keep, I'll keep posting videos, uh, maybe even do it from the other side if I get the raptures. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com. Come to Barcelona. Come to the UK. I'm doing classes.